Right, quite a short video showing you how to make your own glass paint. I'm going to make this as a peelable glass paint, but you should be able to use it as a, a flowing paint as well if you water it down a little bit more. What you need, I've got acrylic paints. Um, don't have to buy loads because you can mix the colours. So I think I've got red and black and gold and silver in addition to these, but these are the ones I'm going to use now. Perhaps the white, perhaps not. So you need acrylic paint. These are just cheap ones. I think they came from the pound shop. A uh, little drop of water. Something to do it in. To mix it in. Which I'll show you in a sec. And the main ingredient. PVA glue. Just normal white PVA glue which dries clear. Most of them do. Okay. So I've put some PVA glue into a mixing pot. Um, and I've got a stick for stirring and it's very simple add your colours I'm hoping for a light green here don't have to put too much in at first there we go bit of blue bit of yellow and we'll give that a mix and see what sort of colour we end up with Hope you can see it there. So, it's a bit of an aqua green there. I'm going to put a bit more yellow in, see if that brings it up to the colour I want. Yeah, that's roughly right. I will put a tad of white in. You just just mix your colours as you want them. Remember, the colour isn't an important ingredient as far as the paint is concerned. It's obviously giving it its colour. Uh, but only use enough to give it the colour you want. I'm going to put one more drop of white and I think I'll be there. It says he's putting two drops in, but never mind. I do already have a dark green, which is why I'm making a lighter green this time. Pretty happy with that. Now, I would find that too thick to paint with, even as a peelable glass paint. So it's, it's a peelable glass paint. I'm just going to put a few drops of water in there. Oh, perhaps ooh, almost too much. No, that's okay. Another stir. You can see the colour there, I hope. Good stir there. Should have had a bit of kitchen towel with me, but haven't, so I'm going to clean that off as much as possible. There we go. And now the important thing is. I'm going to put the top back on, give it a good shake. That will mix all the paint properly. Now here's the important thing. I now need to leave that a couple of hours. What I'm doing here, apart from mixing the paints, is introducing lots of air and bubbles into it. And I need to leave that, that a good couple of hours so the bubbles will rise to the top and come out. So we'll return to this in a couple of hours time and show you it being used. So our paint has now got the bubbles out I think but 
I'm not actually going to be using this colour anyway, so I won't worry too much about it. Before I do do any colours, I'd just like to show you these two. Now this is a clear, it's just the PVA glue with a few drops of water in. This is white, same PVA glue, same drops of water, a little bit of white acrylic paint. Now you'll notice I've marked the clear because more often than not you won't be able to tell the difference between those two. They both look white, clear obviously dries clear, and white dries white. So best to mark one of them. Right, I don't know if you can see I've outlined, let me take the design away. I've outlined a very simple design. If you don't know how to outline, I would like to see how we outline. There's lots of instructions on our website www.glasspainting.co.uk Now I'm going to use three colours for the petals. These three here, which are all homemade PVA based paints. And what I will do at times is put odd bottles down just to ensure this stays down. It is a pocket which you use in a file smooth clear one that's important but they're really good for peeling stuff off after so it's a pocket from a file but it will need something on it to keep it down and I have checked that my table is more or less level so let's start with the red that's a lot of information to take in start with the red and I'm going to go orange then yellow Put plenty on, and make sure it gets right up to the lines. It's right up to the lines, less chance that it will tear when you come to peel it off. It can be quite, I won't say difficult to peel off the first time, but certainly not easy. But after you've done it once, it should go on and off either this or a window as you like just like any other peelable glass paint Wipe that off with a bit of kitchen towel. I'll do put the yellow on next at the far end. And then I'll put the orange in the middle. Just using these like any other glass paint. Think flood filling rather than painting. As you'll notice I'm just moving the paint around with my brush, which is a solid one, rather than brushing with it. Let's fill in those gaps. Again, making sure you get it up to and on to the line. It's 
plenty of paint on there. See a bubble there. I'm just going to try and get it. There we go. Another one there. And you also find that these gaps appear sometimes. He doesn't want to go. There we are. Got it. No, I haven't. There we go, that got him that time. These little gaps appear. I'm not sure if you can see that. I'll try and zoom in. Just make sure you keep an eye on it for the first few minutes while it's drying. Bit of a bubble fest today. Okay, I think I've finally done it. Uh, we'll keep an eye on that while it's drying. Just make sure it's drying okay, no bubbles coming out, and none of those gaps forming. So I'll let that dry. I'll also finish the piece off. And then we'll come back and have a go at peeling it. So here's our finished piece. Not too bad, a couple of bubbles in it, but we got we got most of them. Right, I shall take out my board, which is what I use to keep the pocket stiff while I'm painting. It's just a, a clear piece of perspex. Take that out. Now, as, as I've said all along, the first time you peel this off can be quite difficult, but from then on it should go on and off without too many problems. It helps if you have nails, which I don't. That's not too bad. Go carefully. If you do tear it, put it back down. See, it sticks again and just redo the bit which is torn. No, no need to redo the whole thing, just the, the bit where it's torn. You might get away with just adding a drop of paint, but normally you would do the whole section which is torn. So, as you can see, it now comes off easier the second time. I'll put that on a window and take a photo of it so you can see it. Having said that, you don't have to restrict yourself to windows. Uh, here's one on a glass vase, again made with the homemade paint. If you're worried about washing, you should be able to wipe it down without removing it, but if you're that concerned take it off wash the vase and put it back on again they're also can will stick very well to tiles so I hope you enjoy this endless designs you can do do some for Christmas do some for other special occasions just decorative and we'll go on windows vases tiles, anything which is a non-porous surface really. Happy crafting! <laughs>